Hello South Africa. It is Wednesday, June 15, 2022 and here is news in a minute. Jocko Swart, convicted wife beater may end up in jail after all. The nation was left aghast by the actions of Jocko Swart, when video footage of his assault against estranged wife Nicolene Swart went viral last week. The court prosecuting this convicted wife beater gave him a rather lenient sentence, however. Swart was handed a slap on the wrist, and received a fine alongside a suspended jail sentence. This means he avoided incarceration, despite CCTV footage showing the sustained and brutal attacks he dished out to his partner. The video evidence was submitted to the court, only for it to be ruled inadmissible by the bench. Questions over its authenticity were raised, a bizarre development, considering how clear-cut this damning piece of evidence really is. Mzansi was left outraged by the sentencing, which allowed Jocko Swart to walk away from proceedings as a free man. That's why Action SA have now picked up the mantle, and they will approach the NPA to appeal this inadequate verdict. Judgment leads to calls for investigation into prosecutor's conduct. Gillian Benson is the party's head of strategic litigation. She has confirmed that the group will go to the NDPP's office and take any other measure needed to ensure that Jocko Swart pays a proper price for his sickening actions. Action SA will request that the NPA urgently appeals the inadequate sentence in this case and calls for a thorough investigation into the prosecutor's conduct. If our request is rejected, we will escalate the matter to the National Director of Public Prosecutions, Shamila Batohi. If this does not result in an appeal being undertaken, we will proceed to our courts or take all other measures available to us. Action SA will not idly stand by in this case and will never back down for as long as the scourge of gender-based violence exists in South Africa. And if the fight against gender-based violence is going to be more than rhetoric, there must be a collective rejection of this kind of absurd sentencing in response to such violence and brutality. Please subscribe for more news updates. This is Leah for the South African.